Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in learning about, go ahead and stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. It looks pretty simple. It's an alien head wearing a baseball hat but this actually utilizes a lot of different techniques to get sort of these weird colors and sort of this textured pattern. If I zoom in really quick, let's see if I can make it pretty clear to you. It actually uses, I can zoom way, way in, and you can see that these are actually letters and numbers that are making up this design right here. So there's a seven, there's a four, two, seven, five, six. So, I mean, if you really zoom in, you could see that this is actually a letter mosaic design. And it sort of gives it a cool sci-fi um, matrixy kind of feel to it. So that's what the alien is made up along with his hat too. And you can see the different colors that that brings. And so I'm gonna zoom way out here, <laughs> too far. But anyways, that is the design with the alien head and you can use this technique on a lot of different things. It just, it works really well with the idea for science fiction and aliens. So that's the design that I made. If you would like to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And as usual, I'm gonna be optimizing my design for black, but, I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a slightly off black color and I'll show you why. But I'm gonna pick a really dark gray. So I still get the idea, but it's not quite black and there's a reason for that. Um, so I'm gonna be going ahead and making sort of an alien head design and I'm gonna be showing you how you can use uh, some of the different effects to give it sort of a techno futuristic sci-fi kind of look. So we'll just go ahead and come up to elements. I'm gonna search really easy for, oops, alien head. Oop, there it is, alien head. And you'll see there's a whole bunch to choose from. Doesn't really matter which one you pick, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one right up here because it is the most easily identifiable classic alien type head that I can go with. And this is gonna work really well on more of this silhouette style design where it's just this one color. So I'll go ahead and close that. And we will be working with the alien head. So if I come up here to edit image, there's a lot of, there's a lot of editing techniques that I have available right now, but I actually don't have all of them available. So, there's one that sort of gives you a code-like look, and unfortunately right now it's not allowing me to do that. So one way that I like to get around this is by using another technique first, and then usually the code technique will pop up and allow me to use it. So for this one, I'll probably be doing something like the bad TV that I have done in the past. I am gonna wanna change this color here because black is just way too dark, it won't work with anything. So I can go with green, I can go with a gray, it doesn't really matter. Let's just say I go with a light green. And now I'm gonna come and we're gonna get our bad TV. So we're gonna go ahead and use our bad TV design. Um, I have seen, by the way, some that use sort of these radiate trippy designs. Now you don't wanna copy anybody else. So if you were to do one of these, um, just be careful because there's exact, there's ones up there that are exactly like this already. So, you know, you may wanna think before you, you know, copy somebody's design entirely. But for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead. And I know I've been over bad TV techniques before. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something like that. I can, oops. Do a little contrast, give it a little noisiness, apply. And now you've got a really cool sort of fading transitional color to your alien with a little bit of grain. And I've showed you how to do this in past videos. So that's pretty cool by itself. You could just totally go ahead and use this and upload it and that would be fine and dandy. But for this video, I specifically wanted to show you how to use another one. 
Uh, so now if I come down, ah, here we go, letter mosaic. So this one, it would not give me the first time round, but after I went ahead and used the bad TV on it, the letter mosaic has popped up. And so I like the layer mosaic. It, it gives it sort of a, well, this one says matrix, so I guess a matrixy vibe. Um, I am gonna use the colored one because I do still like the colors. And I'm gonna go ahead and you can change down here, you know, just how dark or light you want it. I do want it to pop, so I am gonna bring the presence all the way up. And transparency, see if I come down here, it's gonna make it very transparent. If I come up here, very dark. So I do like the contrast in it. And then columns here, as I bring this down, those letters and numbers will get bigger and bigger and bigger and it will become more and more obvious that this is actually made up of individual keystrokes. Now, that's a little messy for me. So I do wanna bring it way, wee, wee up here so that it's pretty, pretty fine. But see, it gives it a really cool kind of look there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and I'm gonna let this finalize. And you may notice now that it has put a background. Oh, here we go. It's put a background behind my alien head. And you can see that background now because I picked a dark gray for my background color. If I had picked black, you may not have realized that there was in fact a background here that we're gonna to have to get rid of. So we are gonna to have to do a background removal on this if we want to get rid of all these black areas here. So. Now that it's finalized, I can come up and go ahead and do a background removal and so that hopefully goes pretty smoothly. Sometimes it's smoother than others, but let's give it a shot here. Okay, it did pretty good. So it missed a few spots in the eyes, but overall that wasn't too bad. So I can go ahead and hit my erase tool right here and I'm just gonna clean up the eye area just in case I was to put it on a lighter color shirt. I don't want any of this popping up. Otherwise it did a pretty good job. Well, I am gonna be putting it on a pretty dark shirt so I don't have to be super exact with these lines. But I certainly wanna get rid of anything that's really obviously in the middle of the eye. That's one eye, and again, if you mess up, don't worry, because you can always go back and use the restore tool to restore anything that you might have accidentally deleted. So, you know, don't worry if you make a mistake, just go ahead and do the best that you can. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? So something like that's actually probably good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead then click out and we're gonna use it like that. Okay. So here now you can see my guy. Now you can see there's no more background. If I go ahead now and change my background color to black, you can see what this will look like on a black shirt. So that's pretty cool again as it is. Now at this point you could leave it alone and go ahead and do it like this or you can take this alien head and you can do different things with it. One of the fun things that, uh, that you can do is add something like a hat to it. So, and I think maybe a baseball hat. So let's just come up to elements. I would do different types of hats to see what might look good. Baseball hat looked pretty good. And there's a lot of cool baseball hats I can pick from. So you can see there's lots of just different styles that I can pick from. If it's facing one direction and I want it to face another, no big deal, I can flip the image. So just find a hat that you think looks cool and we can use it. So let's say I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with this hat right here. I think that looks pretty cool. So let's say I'm gonna shrink this hat down because I don't want it to go off the edge of the page. It also means I'm gonna have to shrink his head down now so that it looks like the hat fits. Don't worry about where it is in the page. Once you have it done, you can group them and resize them. So just worry about how the hat looks on the alien. Something like that looks pretty good. Maybe I wanna move it over just a smidge. Again, I can use my arrow keys to do that. 
Oh, it looks like part of my alien head is showing right here. So unfortunately, this needs to be a little bigger. So something like that looks good. Now I could leave it alone or I could repeat the same process I did with the alien with the hat so it all looks like it goes together. So let's go ahead and just do that so that it really looks like it matches. So I'm gonna take my image. I'm gonna hit edit image here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bad TV too just so that we can get some of that um, sort of those lines in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit retro. And again, I'm gonna get rid of the distorts. I don't want the distorts for this. I just sort of want the lines. So for this one, let's go ahead. I can do a lot of lines through this one. Maybe I like a lot of lines. So something like that might actually look kind of cool. Or I can come back down and do it somewhat like I did with the alien's face so that it's more like that. And again, I can play with how dark or how light and I can play with noisiness too. So something like that in terms of noisiness. Depends how light I want that hat to be, how dark I want that hat to be. I do want the grain. Let's say we add a little bit of contrast to the hat there, something like that I like. So you can already see how that looks like it goes a little bit more with the alien. And now we can go ahead and copy the same technique. Now when we do this, it is going to, again, make all of this black. So we will have to do a background removal, but let's go ahead, edit image, pick the letter mosaic, pick the colorize one, go columns. And so there you go. We'll have to remove the black background, but you can see how the hat would look. Now let's say I want the hat to be a little brighter. I can switch this background color. That's what's gonna be behind all of these letters, even after I remove the sides. So let's say I want it to be a little lighter. Maybe I do green. Okay, wow, that's too light. Maybe I do a gray. And you can sort of see how playing with this is gonna change uh, the way that the hat's gonna look. So depending on what kind of hue I want to give it, I do want it to be really dark though. So whether you go with black or something else that's really dark, that's probably the way you're going to want to go is something pretty darn dark. So let's say I'm going to go with that really dark blue right there. And I'm going to apply that and then we'll do the background removal and you'll see how it looks. Okay, so now I've got my hat. I'm going to go ahead and do my background removal. And cross our fingers that it comes out pretty good. The simpler the design, the more likely it is to work well. So I got my fingers crossed on this one and it actually looks like it did pretty well. If I'm not sure I can come up and hit a race, and now I can see, I actually really like it. I think it did a really good job. There's no more blue around the edges. And so we'll go ahead and keep it. Boom, there you go. So now we can see the hat on the alien, okay? Now, if I want the hat to maybe stand out a little bit more, at this point, I can come up and change the brightness. If I want it to be lighter than the alien, I could do it that way. If I wanted it to be darker than the alien, I could do it that way, but then it gets lost in the background. So I'm more likely to want to do it lighter than darker. I can also increase the contrast here if I want to bring those lines back in, or I can bring that saturation up to get a little bit more color to the hat. So I kind of like that. It gives it sort of that weird trippy look. So, I think that actually looks pretty cool right there. So there is my alien now wearing a baseball hat. And so you can see there's just so many different ways you can play with this. Once I get it the way I like it, everything looks sized right. It looks like it fits him well. Again, you might have to play with it a smidge so that it looks perfect. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna group these together, a group. And now that it's one group, I can go ahead, stick it in the page anywhere I want. So I can move it up. I can try to center it. Unfortunately, when you put the hats on them, sometimes when you center the image, his face is now no longer centered and that might look silly. So you may find that you wanna center his face 
even though the image is now going to the edge of the page. Sometimes you'll even have to shrink the image if that's the case in an attempt to center his face. So you can kind of decide what looks best. I tend to think that the face centered looks best. Um, and so I'll do my best to try to center the face there. You can also go ahead and use guidelines. So if you come up to file and you put show rulers and guides, I can bring a guideline over and figure out right where the middle of the page is. So smack there. And now I can see he's pretty well centered in the middle of the page. So that line looks like it's going right down his face pretty evenly. So that's one way I can help center things. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So this is an alien in a baseball cap. So I'm just gonna title it alien uh, in baseball cap. And again, you can do this however you want and you can market it however you want. So you could market it to kind of the sci-fi lovers or space lovers. You could also do it to more of like a techno or a rave or, you know, some sort of party, dancing, um, trippy, you know, however you wanna, what kind of keywords you wanna use in terms of who you wanna market it to. But that's just one really cool way that you can use those letter mosaic ones. So if you saw that and you were like, well, when would I ever use that? Here's an example of how you could use that and you know create your own image that looks really cool and unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna download, leave it as a PNG. I'm gonna keep a transparent background and I'm gonna download. And then that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.